Hey guys, what's up? It's Mikey Chen. For those of you who have always wanted to go live on another Earth-like planet somewhere else in the universe, well, may the odds be ever in your favor because according to a study published in the journal Nature, we just found three potentially habitable Earth-like worlds orbiting a super cool dwarf star. And it's only, yeah, only 40 light years away. I know we kind of hear these type of stories all the time. It seems like every single week we find some new place where we could possibly live, but it's pretty interesting that we were able to find three essentially at the same time and in the same proximity. So the super cool dwarf star that I mentioned is known as TRAPPIST-1, and it really isn't the kind of star researchers expect it to be a hub for planets because it's at the end of the range for what classifies as a star, meaning that it has half the temperature and a tenth of the mass of the sun. But according to researcher Julian DeWitt, a postdoctoral associate with MIT's Department of Earth, Atmospheric, and Planetary Services. These tiny stars have been around a long time and are common in the Milky Way, representing 25 to 50% of stellar objects in the galaxy. They were largely overlooked until researcher Michael Gillen of the University of Liège in Belgium decided to take a risk and study the space around one of these dwarf planets and found that over the course of 62 nights, shadows like little eclipses periodically interrupted the starlight, which is usually a pretty steady stream of light. The planets are approximately the size of Earth and receive about four times the radiation than we do from the sun, based on two of the planets' proximity to the dwarf star, which suggests they are in the habitable zone. Less is known about the third outer planet, which receives twice the amount of radiation that Earth does, but it is potentially in the habitable zone as well. And if you didn't know, the habitable zone determines how close a planet is to the star that it orbits, and given the temperature of the planet based on that proximity, it could have water on the surface, which of course is the core ingredient for life as we know it. Of course, we're not making a trip to these planets anytime soon, as these results are just the beginning of a study that will continue for years, but researchers are already working on observations to see if the planets have water or methane molecules. And 40 light years away may not seem that far for the Starship Enterprise, but with our current technology, it would take us millions of years to reach these planets. Still, they are the best targets to search for life beyond Earth and our solar system. You know, I think it's really interesting, whenever we find one of these planets that could support life, I always wonder, uh, we may be able to calculate if these planets are habitable, but we really have no clue whether these planets are already occupied. So there literally could be life on these planets and maybe even intelligent life, and what if they're kind of doing the same thing? Like, there's some research center on that planet looking into the universe and then going, hey, there is a bluish planet that looks habitable and is only 40 light years away. And then they come and War of the Worlds break out where we go there and uh, Planet 51 happens. But guys, let me know if we had the technology to actually reach one of these worlds and there's a chance, not a 100% chance, but there's a chance it's habitable would you volunteer to be the first group of humans to actually go and maybe colonize this new planet? So let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. See you later.